Hi you guys, this is Miss Helvey. I am making this video to show you how to begin creating a book trailer through Photo Story. This is, um, I've also given you a click sheet to help guide you in the process of creating your book trailer. So the first thing that I would like you to do to get started in this process is go to my computer. You're going to make a folder in your H drive to keep all of your resources in. So you're gonna click on H drive, should have your name with it, and you're going to create a new folder one I already have here, book trailer project. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna make one. New folder, book trailer project two. All right, so you should just name it book trailer project. Mine's just because I already have one in my folder in my, my documents. So I've just made a folder and this is where you're going to put all your photos and resources throughout this project. The next thing that I would like you to do, I want you to X out of this, and I want you to either open Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or something, and I want you to go to Google. What you're going to be doing is getting some photos, collecting some photos to put in that folder so you can start working on your photo story for your book trailer. But before we go into photo story, we really need to get some photos so you have something to work with and go from there. So let's say that your book is looking for Alaska. So we're gonna go ahead and type that into Google. And we'll go to images first. So let's say I really love this photo. I wanna use it. So all I have to do is click on the photo and then right click and put save picture as. All right, so after you've clicked Save Picture As, a browser should come up. What you need to go to here is go to your H drive. If my computer would respond. All right, so you're going to be at my computer where I'm tabbing at, toggling at on the side. And you are going to make sure that you go to your H drive. All right. So what you need to do is make sure you get back to your H drive when you're saving a photo. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your H drive. You're gonna click on that book trailer folder. You're gonna save that first photo. You should either be saving as a JPEG or a bitmap depending on what um, the photo is saved as, but a JPEG will work. So just press save. So you have that first one. Now go back and you can look at some other photos too that you may like, something that um, you would you would want so if it's something like this um, you can go to view original image not that but view original image and press save picture as um, and save it as that it's already in that folder it normally already goes to that so it's going to be in my H drive so then from there I'll save it um, Let's see if there's any other photos that I may want, maybe of, let's see, I'll get one more, just so there's something else to go off of. Um, this quote, save picture as, quote, and you can just save it as, quote from, looking for Alaska. You want to make sure your photos are differentiated like that. So you should have three photos or however many. You really should have a good amount. I'm not expecting just three. You should have quite a bit, at least 10 photos to um, make your photo story. So if you minimize that and you, we're at the point now where we can start making our photo story. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to all programs from the start button, go to all programs, go to photo story three, begin a new story. Um, that's, where we're, that's what we're gonna wanna do is begin a new story. So from there, you're gonna click next. And the first thing it brings you to is this where you import and arrange photos. It's gonna pop up here in this film strip down here. So you'll do import pictures and you're gonna go to that book trailer that book trailer project. Let me find that folder. 
book trailer project. Let's see. My book trailer project folder. We'll just start from my H drive up here. So you'll need to get to your book trailer project from your H drive. You're going to open that. So book trailer project. You can see my photos are already put in here. So let's say I have this first one here. And that's my first photo. Um, on most of them, you're going to want to take off the black borders that are on the sides. It will mess with them a little bit. So if you press remove black borders. And if you like the way it looks, great. That's the after. So you just press yes. All right. So then from there, the first requirement that you have to have for your photo story book trailer is a title page. Your title page requires you to have the name of the book, the author, and your name. So let's say we've put, let's go ahead and put the rest of our photos in. So we'll put in this one. Go ahead and remove black borders on that one as well. And we'll import the last one too. All right, so you should have all the photos in there. And you can rearrange them if you would like to put that one before that one. You can do that if you'd like. But let's start with the first one just so we can make our title page. So we have this first photo and we want to make sure we have our title. So we would put looking for Alaska by John Green by Miss Helvey. So I know who the creator is. This is when you can change the font, change where it goes. Um, you need to make sure that I can see the font. Also, it's a huge reminder to make sure that you are spelling things correctly. I will take off points if you don't have the right spelling for your words. So if you're not sure how to spell something, put it into Word, put it into spell check so you know. So what you'll want to do from here, you can change the font if you'd like and the color. There's all different types of font just like in Word. So let's say you want it as Old English and you want it in red. So that's the type of font you want. And you don't want it centered. You would rather have it to the side. And you really want it aligned to the bottom instead. Or you can align it to the top like that. So let's say that that's what you would like for your first photo. Looking for Alaska by John Green by Miss Helby. All right. You can also change the photo if you like with the effect, if you want to make it a sepia, or you want to make it a negative, or you want to make it colored pencil, um, black and white, whatever you'd like to do. I think I'm going to keep mine as black and white for now. So you've just made your title page, everything like that. Great. Next thing, let's say you are ready to make a transition to that. All you have to do is click next. And this is when you can start making a transition, so making motion to your photo. So you would press Customize Motion, and I would like to specify the start position of the motion. So I would like to start big and go small into my information. So it says it's going to take about seven seconds to get there. You can preview the shot to make sure that that's what you want. And then you can also make a transition. Let's say you want to start it with a crossfade. That's what you would like to start your photo with is a crossfade. And it previews up here what that looks like. You can make a crossfade up there. All right. So now that you have that, let's say that that's the first thing that I want. There's tons of options, as you can see, to choose from. You press Save. And then you can close out. Let's say you are done with that transition, you like the way it looks, you're ready to move on to the next photo. All you have to do from there is click on the next photo in your film strip. And let's say you want to put text on that one or you don't want to put text on that one. 
Um, you can put text just as normal. Press next if you want to customize motion for that one. And let's say we want to make it, um, we want to change how that actually works and make it more where it goes in on the quote instead. So you want it to be more like that. And the transition into that, let's say you want to make it a page curl, like that. And you want to make it a page curl. You can do that and press save and close out. All right, so I've done that with two photos now and showing you how to make this. Um, you will want to be putting your information in the text as well about the book, basically just giving what happens in the beginning, what's the conflict, what's the theme. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to select music. The music that they have here, they do have some music that you can choose from, some sound effects that are in Photo Story, but you can also get some music online, some free use music. If you go to that document, when you see that document that is, um, has been handed to you, as well as it's on my school website, located in the calendar, if you go to Book Trailer Instructions, it is on there. You can see it and there's links at the bottom of the page to um, give you some examples of book trailers, free use photo site, and the free use music sites. There are a lot of free music that you can go to online. So let's say that you don't like the music that you have or you don't have your iPod that day or anything like that. So you decide, I wanna use free use music. So all you have to do, they have a bunch of different things up here. Let's say that you would like Let's just try a song here. All right, so I like that song. That sounds great for what we're doing right now. Um, you can download this song and all you have to do is right click and press save target as. You're once again, saving it in your H drive on that book trailer. So you're saving it in your H drive under that book trailer project. So you're gonna click on that and make sure it's saved as a VLC media file, an MP3. So you just press save, connects out of that or you can minimize it for now. And go back to your photo story. And let's say you want to select the music. It's already up from my H drive because I've been saving it. So let's say that that's what I wanted to use. <clears throat> Actually, let me, that was a different one. Let me go back. Got a book trailer project to this one. All right, so now that this is already put on, all I have to do is preview, make sure it works. And it automatically gives you a fade out of anything and it gives those effects already to your photos. Um, but you can add music through that. You can also add music through your iPod. You just have to make sure that you have a USB with on the computer so you can add that music to your photo story. So let's say that you've completed all your photos, you like the way they look, your book trailer is done. All I would like you to do for now is save project. And remember, you are saving it in your H drive folder the book trailer project folder and you'll save it as book trailer looking for Alaska and it should be saved as a WP3 so you just press save um, I don't want you to save it to your K drive just yet not until you have completed your entire book trailer um, you'll just press next this will tell you to make it into a movie but we won't be doing that today this is all we'll be doing, but you will be able to save it on any sort of thing. Um, but that is all we have time for. I just wanted to show you this and show you how this works. All you have to do is press cancel to get out and it is automatically saved. Thank you.